Anyways, let's uh, get down to business here. Teams uh, should be readying up, and it uh, looks like the action is going to be starting here on our second map here between Ball Up and the Drift Kings. Now, this is Koth Arctic and our bands. We're Sniper from Drift King and Heavy Weapons Guy for Renting. Uh, Q Stiff uh, now on the Demo Man instead of Scout. So they've switched it up a little bit. Players playing some different things. Monster jumping in, taking some high ground. It's Blue Medic uh, dragged in by that quick fix. Sorry, excuse me. I'm, I'm all over the place. I was calling calling Rams uh, players there. But Monster is on top now. What a tool. First player down. 95% quick fix charge on GFN. Nilstra goes down right before he was about to get his charge. And there we go. Standby getting pressured out. And it looks like the Drift Kings once again going to be taking a round. Moving things right along here on this um, second map. Looks like Drift Kings actually had an AFK that round too, so... Oh, interesting. That could have been an end of, end of round issue. And it uh, looks like we do have a pause here now. Yeah, uh, Jeff uh, timed out. So, yeah, they did that They did that last round, 4v5 there. They uh, Jeff was AFK most of that round, kind of timed out there. So <laughs> It's definitely a possibility uh, in this arena respawn. I mean, it just comes down to frags and uh, making things happen. So sometimes... Uh, sometimes in unfortunate circumstances, you, you lose a player, and it's pretty easy uh, to uh, still, I mean, kind of get in there. You play smart with your, your combo. You get one frag, and uh, don't let them capture, and then all of a sudden you're ahead. So Controlling the point, pretty important. Uh, this map as well, it's uh, sometimes difficult to get across the point without triggering things. Okay, it looks like we have unpaused here. So Jeff can't uh, rejoin this Three, this round unless there is a capture and a respawn. So uh, possibly the Drift Kings might go for an earlier capture than normal. Sneak goes down. And to ball up after losing what a tool will get a capture here. Ram coming around the side here as well. And we should be able to tie up Monsta. Uh, last one up. And uh, there goes the round. So a little unfortunate losing Jeff. Certainly tied into uh, conceding the round. They still did win that first round. So, can't feel too bad about themselves. And uh, my HUD a little wonky for a second there, but Jeff is in play here. I don't know why he's not showing up on my HUD, but he is in play here. Okay, there he is. And uh, he'd say a squirt shot right away. Monster going for an air shot on the medic got, got thrown up in the air because of the quick fix. Red, oh yeah, don't capture that point just quite yet. Danny goes down. Now they might want to capture that point, though, as they're losing players all over the place. Ram up top, so many people in his face, though, getting thrown around, almost craters down. Just needs a few pistol shots on him, and, uh, well, that'll be the end of him. So Drift King's uh, resettling down pretty quickly here. Getting back into the rhythm of things. And uh, kicking some booty. See what standby can do here. Charging up a shot across. Medic was standing right on it for a second there. Good damage, especially on the demo, man. Q stiff. Banged up. And again, uh, capture. They do get what a tool. Standby. He's got to deal with this scout. Oh my god, taking a lot of damage. Blue captures as well. That's going to be unfortunate. Danny behind. Just trapped into the wall. And uh, DK doing pretty strong here. I'm curious to watch uh, Jeff here. It seems like Q-Stiff and Monster getting a lot of success here. It's causing a lot of problems for Ball Up. Good damage by Q-Sip. Monster over the top. Ram's jumping him. Monster's just gonna eat it. Does survive though. Blue gets an early capture. Uh, Ram's gonna have to fight 
five pretty much by himself. Danny comes in trying to capture. Oh, it did get Q stiff, but just too much. Really putting himself in tough situations and uh, definitely just having a tough time dealing with uh, Tokyo Drift. Uh, sorry, the Drift Kings overall. Sneak coming in here, ram the first one down. Oh, more players going down. It's Q stiff getting work done. It's just gonna be Danny left. And it just doesn't really seem like ball up is really fighting much. You know what I'm saying? They're just kinda dying. Yeah, they're kinda getting pushed around a little bit here. Looks like every time DK is coming out, they're coming out pretty strong, getting a lot more damage on there. Ball up's had a few times where Ram uh, got quite a bit of damage out there on him, but then they just kind of got lost the advantage there. I think there's some possibilities for Engineer here that they're maybe uh, ignoring. Um, it's tough to say maybe what you should, you know, kind of switch out for Engineer, but uh, Engineer just does give you a lot of uh, space control. And it was not banned in this uh, first half. Let's you kind of slow things down, keep your heels up, keep your medic happy. But Ram's got to be successful as well, and uh, he's just kind of getting out DM'd and out damaged by Q-Stiff as well. Q-Stiff jumping over pretty low. Very aggressive play. Monster in here as well. Oh my god, takes a lot of damage. Stand up. Uh, I think he's just going to go for the capture here. He's just going to grab this capture, turn around. Oh, the Pyro's here. Does reflect the pack back and then gets piped down. He doesn't see the soldier right behind him. Backs into him and Monster kills himself. Oh my. <laughs> Madness. But, you know, 2 5 and 2 minutes left. So, really, it's actually still a wide open um, half. They could uh, get two rounds here, bring it to uh, 5 4, and uh, then step right into the second half in new bands and, and be in a solid place. So, just a couple rounds could really swing things around here. Of course, they actually got to win those first. Stand up takes a lot of early damage, does get the heals on him now. What a tool, the first one going down. Oh, Danny on a soldier now. I didn't notice that at first. So they switched up rosters. That sometimes can be very, very helpful. Yeah, but Ram getting overwhelmed here. Just all sorts of players in his face. Having to reload and fight so many people all at once. The Boston Basher out here, though. Oh my god, and he gets q stiff to kill himself. He's gonna charge in here as the uh, uh, timer is running down. Oh no, Nilstra. Gonna have to fight by himself. Does get one saw to kill GFN. And uh, maybe just slightly a little too early on the aggressiveness there. He did need to get in there to stop the double cap, but could have maybe just floated around outside for just a few more seconds first. And uh, what a tool, yeah, having a tough time on, on Pyro here. I, I think you, you gotta consider Engineer. And, uh, using the short sc sc Scorch shot, excuse me, does get Monster there. Uh, Danny with this airstrike, there you go, there's some creative thinking. He gets reflected down though by Jeff. And uh, that's actually, I th think that's did it? No, actually, I think they got one more round out of this. Sometimes it's kind of questionable, but they are playing it out, and uh, this is definitely a live round. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what Danny can do with this airstrike. Probably not much, but, you know, high hopes. Again, like I said, Ball Up's just taking too much damage early. They're getting little yeah. splash that's just hurting them. And in this case, too, like, uh, the quick fix doesn't give you a full buff. So, uh, you, you should just run Kritzkrieg or, or something else that gives you that full overheal. So you can kind of survive that damage a little bit better. And, um, you know, survive that damage a little bit better. And, uh, you know, just be able to fight decently. But they're going to lose that, uh, uh, 8 to 2. And, uh, Lagbot 30,000, yeah, just clarifying a little bit that there was a, a second left in that round at the end there. 
and that is why that round uh, counts in registers. So, um, you know, once the server clock is at zero, then um, no more rounds are allowed, but it, it just snuck right in there, right at the edge there. All right, well, we're going to have another set of bands coming out here in a second. Um, yeah, I think what a tool has to switch off of Pyro. I think you could ban Pyro, um, you know, partially just because of that, you know, because Jeff was really effective. And uh, I think that's a pretty straightforward um, ban possibility. Uh, certainly there's other classes to be argued for, but nobody used Engineer that last half. And um, unless you want to argue for banning one of the core classes... Uh, there's not a whole lot of possibilities there. I mean, honestly, it looked like things were going okay for him at first. I mean, uh, when they switched Danny over to the soldier, that actually got them a little bit more damage out there. Danny was doing some pretty good shots with those airstrikes, but yeah, yeah, that helped out. And sometimes, you know, that sort of uh, player adjustment can make a huge difference. Uh, I think banning soldier might might be something they might want to consider just in regards to Monsta, who has been a bit of a Monsta. Uh, on things and uh, really disruptive and kind of out DMing uh, Ram and causing troubles. Of course, with this round, we're going to see, uh, or we should see possibly, uh, a couple snipers in here. Uh, since it's not going to be banned this time, this is a pretty good map for some open area shots. Yeah, as well as a uh, heavy weapons guy uh, was banned um, and will come out now. So I think that there's possibilities we'll see that for ball up. Uh, the sniper certainly kind of a counter to heavy weapons guy, but. Um, we shall see. We shall see. And they did ban the pyro this time, let's see. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's alright. Yeah. They banned heavy last time, banned pyro this time. And driftings can go, uh, wherever with this. Um, I've said as well that I think that if you're in this position... Um, and we'll see if teams pick up on this, and now that I'm talking about it publicly, maybe teams will pick up on it. Um, I think that in this position as the red team here, you could easily ban Spy, um, just because you just want to burn a ban, you know, just literally you just want to burn a ban. Um, if, uh, you ban Spy here, then, uh, it's not a class that you were planning on using, but nothing that you were planning on using gets taken out. So they could they could ban engineer to just uh, further control like possible um, possible weird off switches that they aren't anticipating, but they don't really care. They could just ban spy. Ng ban would be good. That would be my suggested ban for for red team. And they're gonna ban demo. Um, which is interesting. That was successful for them last round, but I guess they're willing to uh, kind of throw that down. Demo is certainly very strong on this map. It's actually kind of surprising because, I mean, well, I mean, they are taking the sniper pick, it looks like. It's just going to start off the sniper this time, so Maybe they, uh, they don't really need, they, you know, they might have the damage from the sniper versus the demo that was so successful for them last time. Yeah. It's always about, you know, rotating your players and stuff, you know, and if, if Questif wants to play Scout in this setup, um, and now they've realized, okay, well, you know, Jeff doesn't really want to play Demo, uh, then they'll just, you know, ban Demo. Looks like Mons are actually going to roll Spy here, maybe at least to start. There's ways you can pull some subterfuge here as well, that you, you do have to weigh this mod just kind of interacts with arena um, in pregame. If you want to switch classes, you have to type class, um, and then you can actually type in team chat and switch classes. So you can kind of publicly change classes when really you, in your team chat, change back to a different class. It's the real spy subterfuge. We'll see here. We should be getting ready uh, pretty soon here with both teams having their ban in. Uh, once again, it is ball up banning Pyro, while the red team, the Drift Kings, banning Demo. And uh, Drift Kings in a great position um, on this map. Up 8-2 to two right now, while uh, ball up also lost the first round. So they are certainly facing some difficulties. And 
standby right now on engineer and uh, I would like to see that we'll see if the uh, spy sticks around as well give us a shout in steam chat uh, stream chat ladies and, and gentlemen some people asking about um, custom weapons allowed uh, yeah we're 100% open whitelist oh wow crusty rusty yeah actually saying first tournament he's watched in about four years welcome to the show we've been uh, uh, getting this arena respawn going it's a different format it's uh, uh, quite quite interesting but it's a lot of fun it's kind of based in uh, arena one life to live but if you get that point capture the point you respawn your teammates like a jailbreak mode and we are last uh, or sorry we are off here with our second half here DK up 8-2 over ball up And the spy is still out here. Control point enabled. No soldier. Danny starts things off with a snipe on GFN. Oh, Danny nice. Gets sniped down. Take down the medic. It's a pretty good trade. The control point is being contested. Monster comes and gets a stab on the NG and gets, saps his gun down, gun down. Taken out. Nilstra going to have to get a kill here. Oh, no. Heavy weapons guy. The quick fix is out, but they're marked for death. And the medic can't leave the point. He needs some help. Oh, my God. Stand by. Too far away. And Danny does get a snipe. Has to come out here. They have to get out here quickly. And they're not chasing this heavy weapons guy. He's still marked for death. All ups. Danny is going to have to score some major kills here. He's got the scout on him. He's surviving for now. Musip is just playing around inside them right now. This is a little... Yeah. They needed that pick to make that a little bit easier. Oh, good body shot on the medic. Looking for him now. Danny doesn't get it. They're on the point. Not going to get the capture, though. I kind of agree with you on the last one, though. They uh, they just really didn't get out there fast enough. Looked like they were spending a little bit too much time trying to recollect themselves there instead of getting control over that point and, and the positions. You really have to counterattack right away. Uh, you know, they respawn their players, but they're so far away that you can't just stand there and be like, oh, we're three out of five. Like, you have to attack because locally they have two, and you need to recapture as soon as possible. And, and Nilstra jumps around, takes out Quistif. No problem. Called him out on that rotation. We actually have the uh, Huntsman out from Jeff. Love to see it. Oh my god, and the scout falls right into it. Jeff, I think, actually then went into a taunt after hitting him. And uh, that leads to, well, Drift King's actually capturing the point. And uh, good thing, actually, Nilstra dying there was actually a good thing because he ended up getting a respawn with full health. What a tool, jumping back for his medic, or at least waiting. He's going to have to heal up Danny, too. But oh my god, what a tool gets arrowed down. Nilstar up top here. Ooh, good bomb down Ooh. on GFN. All up, getting some momentum here in the second half. They had a, a decent showing that last round. This round definitely off to a, a good start. Ram. Oh, man, now. Oh, no local presence. Give up the capture and the respawns to the Drift Kings. It looks like this round's really going to come down to if they can. Uh, they got the response about the same time, so they're all their reinforcements are coming in at the same time. So if they can really hold this point down, they've got this. Mm -hmm. And uh, five seconds coming up on the clock, so sneak having to run in here, trying to barge on the point. Oh my God! And Jeff gets a snipe over his shoulder, but they're going to be able to get the, the opportunity for the double capture here. And uh, they don't need it as they get all the frags. So uh, ball up. Now taking it three to nine here, up against the Drift Kings. The whips from Monster leading his team out here. Jeff with these mini sentries. Mini sentries on both sides are actually placing them in the same spot. Wrangler for standby, but it's not enough. He gets taken out early as well. And uh, 
uh, just Danny up. Oh my god. Medic gun down right in front of Jeff, but Danny not standing a chance. 10 to 3 here. And uh, these uh, maps, we have two half times, eight minute half times, which is total round scored. So ball up, clock definitely tipping, uh, ticking, getting uh, pretty unlikely for them to come back here. We do allow GGs in the second half, so you know that's uh, at their discretion. But uh, hopefully they just keep playing and uh, you know working on their skills. And uh, they have been a competitive team here tonight. It's been good to see. There have been rounds that they've taken, a lot of rounds that they've almost taken. Monster hit by the sniper, then Crater's down. Uh, Jeff is down as well, that is the engineer. Red is trying to capture his Nilster jumping forward here as well. The capture delayed, oh my god, a lot of pressure on, this, on the medic. Oh, it throws him around though. And the heavy gets the capture, and it's just stuff like this where they, they almost have a chance to capture the round, and then kind of some unfortunate things happen, and there we go, it slips away from him. We've got another match uh, following this, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be an, an hour after this, and uh, that means that we will probably be taking a full break. It's uh, it's not super hot in Portland, Oregon, but it is hot enough that my computer um, gets a little toasty. And you know what? I just I just want to give it a rest. I care and I love for my computer. Uh, it's a valued part of the family. And uh, 100 degrees Celsius, not too hot, right, Houston? But I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius, you're getting up there still, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It deserves, you deserve a break at that point. You deserve a tall glass of lemonade. And, uh, well, Tokyo Drift, they're going to be earning themselves a tall glass of uh, lemonade here as uh, they're up 12 to 3 with two minutes left on the clock and uh, playing real well here up against um, our team here. Ball up. Gotta love the whip, gotta love all the fun weapons here in um, Arena Respawn. An open white list, everything's on the board. Danny misses the fact that the quick fix menace is flying through the air, but still gets the snipe. And uh, just like that 3v3, but Danny's gotta get on the point. Oh no, can't stop the heavy weapons guy. And uh, there we go, what a tool. Actually does stop the capture, wow, perfect timing from him. And ball up, pull a round back, 4-12. to 12. Positive steps here. Uh, I like the engineer. I think definitely the snipes have been pretty mean here. Putting some hurt down. See what Danny's got here. Oh, finds Monster. Danny looking for more. Does take a shot at that scout. Doesn't hit him though. Blue gets the capture. Red's gonna be one of this Q-Sip. Big damage, takes out the scout. Jumps over to this mini sentry. Not gonna let that stay up for very long. On top of the sniper as well. Oh my, Tokyo Drift Kings. Doing work here. Yeah, I think they're gonna be taking this round as well. A few seconds left on the clock here. But I think it's actually going to do it. Four to 13. The score here, and there we are. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. Well played by the Drift Kings. Well played by Ball Up, but definitely, definitely not enough. Now, a lot of times, they just didn't have the presence they needed in that middle area there. I mean, you really want to take some of the control of the zone there, but they, they let him come back in. They let him filter in through the center, and they just... Didn't, fortunately didn't get those shots they did. You gotta get high ground, you gotta control that high ground, and you gotta bring pressure and set up as a team. Um, Engineer is a good class that brings you a lot of possibilities uh, with that, and uh, it just didn't really seem like they were utilizing the potential of Engineer to kind of like hold up form a strong team base and uh, duke it out. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's our first round here for the Southeast Regionals. It is going to be our team stepping in late. The Tokyo, uh, sorry, Drift Kings is really just their name. Stepping in late here to take up, uh, ball up the Hoop Troop and uh, defeating them. So they're going to be going on to face the Pink Flowers of Friendship. Uh, I'm excited to see that matchup. I believe Pink Flowers of Friendship previously dominated ball up. And so that should be a good match in the East Finals. 
That's going to be happening Tuesday at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be followed up Tuesday by our other match at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, which will be the West Finals. The Portland Burnsiders up against the team that is uh, still to be determined, and uh, that will be determined in our West uh, Southwest Regional Amateur Hour up against Like Californians. And uh, that's going to be happening in an hour from now. Very excited for that. Like I said, I think we're going to be taking a quick break here. So thanks for joining me, Houston. I uh, appreciate it. Any final words from you, man? No, honestly, uh, thanks for having me. It was uh, quite a blast to watch these two teams duke it out. Uh, okay, well, Houston, actually, we're going to put you on hold. Thanks for your final words. We're going to pull Monster in here real quick um, just to chat with him about things about Drift King and uh, get some word about, uh, well, his team. So hold on just a second here. Um, already, I am joined here by Monsta pulled into the channel. How you doing, buddy? Yo. Yeah. Yo. How yeah, you what's doing? Up? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, I'm amazing. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, strong performance by you guys on both maps. Uh, obviously, you're feeling amazing now. Uh, must have felt good in the process. What was uh, what were some highlights of that match for you guys? Oh, we just kept being uh, aggressive. Like the whole mm -hmm. match, and they didn't seem to uh, change anything each round. Yeah, definitely. So paid. we just kept being aggro. Yeah, definitely paid off for you. Uh, was there anything? Uh, I guess you know we don't have to like talk about some of the, the behind the scenes strategies too much in terms of like things they could have done to shake you guys up more. But um, you know, there wasn't. I don't know. Was, was there anything that you guys had problems with that they were throwing at you wise, item wise, or class wise, or? What was going on uh, with your team and your atmosphere about this matchup? There, buddy. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. No worries. My internet. Can you say that again? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, <clears throat> what what did they throw at you that troubled you? You know, like class wise, or was there anything band wise that really you know you kind of threw out there? Um, in particular to kind of stifle what they were throwing at you, or, or was it just kind of uh, bans and overall were you just kind of banning things that you don't really like and just uh, playing how you guys normally play? What was the approach today? Yeah, it was that sniper. The sniper, sniper. really uh, took effect in the last match. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we just started like banning anything because didn't really care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's certainly kind of how it can go in this format when you're feeling real confident and you have the lead. Um, now, now, do you guys uh, did you guys play in the EGO tournament? Uh, no. Okay. So no. this is your first time playing in a, a respawn re tournament. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I know that you guys uh, hit us up Tuesday when we were looking for teams to fill this spot. Um, yeah. Did you guys get much like pregame in, or have you guys like played? You know, <laughs> no, not really. Jump right it into like, it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, you know, are you guys a roster in uh, other leagues, other formats? What? How do you guys know each other? Uh, we're just friends. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. So you guys just all have played like a fair amount of TF2. Yeah. Well, me, uh, GFN, and Sneak Ground team for UGC, but okay. not our demo. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, um, if you guys know each other uh, in real life, or, or right, or or how do you guys know each other? Just online mainly. Yeah, just online. Okay. Cool. Um, you guys are representing um, Southeast though, so like where are most of uh, you guys from. I'm from New York. Sneak is from New York, and uh, I'm not really sure about the other people. Okay, okay, fair yeah. enough. I know that too. Also, we we kind of snuck you guys in, like you know, quote unquote, southeast, um, because of uh, our team having to drop out, and um, again, uh, yeah. yeah, just that team dropping out again. That's kind of a topic that we want to touch on later, um, but uh, uh, not not right now. Um, so yeah, cool to have you guys in, and uh, cool to have you guys kind of uh, plan. Uh, we'll see what you know uh, if you guys represent New York in the future or whatnot. Um, but definitely a pleasure to have you. Uh, what were I'm, your... uh, thanks for having us. Definitely. What, what were your thoughts? Sorry, just real quick before I let you go. What were your thoughts on Arena Respawn in general? Then, if this was your your guys' first time with it. For me, it's really fun. I really like it. Cool. I wanted to compete before, but didn't get the sign up in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, uh, we'll be having some pug nights throughout the week. If other people are interested in playing the pug nights or, or you know, trying to find some scrims uh, with teams and stuff, um, hit us up on that uh, Arena Respawn pug group and uh, check out BattleLeague.com. We uh, have a uh, Slack channel for team captains, and we're always looking for more team captains. 
with more teams that allows us to do uh, group structures and stuff like that. We do require, you know, a bit of hoops for teams to jump through, but, uh, you know, professionalism wise, it's just kind of a bare minimum. And, uh, well, it's kind of filtering out teams and, you know, we want to keep having teams like you guys showing up competing and uh, beating teams like ball up that have also been showing up and competing. So, um, it was a, a, a great game. I wish you guys uh, best of luck moving forward. Any uh, last shout-outs from you, uh, Monster? Uh, shout-out to the team that played today mm -hmm. and a uh, unit, and that's pretty much it. All righty. Awesome, man. Thanks a lot. And uh, well, right. that's uh, also going to do it for our broadcast right now. And uh, we'll be back in um, under an hour, uh, barely under an hour, with our next matchup, which will be Amateur Hour versus Like Californians. I'll be joined uh, by my buddy and a Californian himself for the moment, Insomnia. So um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Big shout out to the PBL crew as well as my homeboy, Level E, joining me tonight. And uh, excited to see you guys for this next matchup. I'm next time. See you guys next time. Peace out. Oh.